Brentech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft Edge has a handy and useful tool that comes built and baked into the browser, as many of you may know, called the Math Solver. Now, the Math Solver is a tool that helps you solve math problems with step-by-step -step explanations and also works for simple arithmetic to advanced algebra, trigonometry, and a whole lot more, according to Microsoft. So I thought in this video, we could look at how we can solve math problems using the tool in Microsoft Edge. And the tool can be enabled and accessed in one or two different ways. So in case you're unaware, to um, enable Math Solver, we just um, head to our menu in the top right of the browser, head down to More Tools, and then just click on Math Solver. And that will open up uh, the tool in the site panel. And then another useful way to launch the Math Solver, and this applies to any um, tool you are using on a regular basis in the browser, would be once again head back to your menu, this time click on Settings, head over to your Appearance page, and you can actually enable the quick shortcut button for the toolbar, Math Solver button, make sure that's toggled on, and that will place the actual Math Solver in the toolbar, which may be another useful um, a way to enable the tool, especially if you are using it on a regular basis. Now, um, I'm not going to pretend to know too much about mathematics for this video, but um, just to go through one or two examples as um, as to how you can use the tool to solve uh, math problems. And to do this, I've just um, favorited and bookmarked the actual Microsoft Math Solver website. And by the way, I'll leave a link to this website in the description because um, it's quite useful and handy, especially if you are on another platform or um, you are not using the Microsoft Edge web browser, you can actually head over to their website, which is exactly the same tool. And you can also download the tool, which might be another useful option. Now, yeah, we have a couple of um, what we would call popular math problems and examples of those. So just to go through one or two years as to how the tool actually works. Now, um, if we click on select maths problem, this will give us a little um, tool to actually select that uh, that math problem and this and in this example we are going to select a quadratic equation they are calling that and then a couple of things are going to happen when you click on the solve button the first thing that's going to happen is the tool will analyze your problem and then give you a solution so if we click on solve that will take a second or two to generate your solution and uh, you can choose to view the solution or you can follow the different steps. As we can see, it's broken down into different steps as to how the tool solved the actual problem. And by doing this, we can show solution steps. Just click on that tab, and here we get an in-depth breakdown. And this is in particularly handy if you are maybe a student or you are learning math and math. So you can actually see how it got to the actual solution. And here we get a graph. And as mentioned, I'm not going to pretend to know too much about this, but there's the graph, so you get the idea. And what is quite handy is you get some recommended videos as to that actual um, equation or that problem you are trying to solve, which might be quite useful. And uh, um, you can share the solution by copying the actual link. And you can actually share that with others, how you actually solve that math problem. And then just to demonstrate once again, so if we just head back, and this time I'm going to close the tool and just relaunch the tool. Um, yeah, you can actually, over and above selecting a problem um, with a tool, you can actually type a maths problem. So you can actually type in a maths problem manually. So you don't always have to use the tool. So uh, that's another handy option available. And then just to demonstrate one more time, select maths problem. This time we're going to try a trigonometry example. And there we go. Solve. It will generate that solution. And there we go. And once again, we get the graph, some recommended videos, and you can share the solution and you can copy and paste that to share that. And just take note, though, uh, that the tool is still in preview. Um, so that means there could be a couple of bugs. And uh, um, as mentioned, I'll leave a link to this actual website if you are not using the Edge browser and uh, maybe are using another platform as it is exactly the same thing as what's found in the Edge browser. So that's just... One or two examples as to how you can actually solve a math problem using the math solver in the Microsoft Edge web browser for desktop. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.